Greetings, this is A Demonic Wizard on Twitch, A Demonic Shadow for literally everything else. To bring you necessarily another weapon video. This is on a tactical A AUG A3P um submachine gun of course. As you can see here, um what you can equip on is the muzzle, underbarrel, magazine, and an optic, of course a skin. Visually, nothing too special about it. There's no gold highlighter or silver or anything like that. Um what at least with this what, what submachine guns technically using any submachine guns are good um with this the vector and the, um and the naval what is it the naval the naval mpsn um pretty much using any of those submachine guns are good submachine guns uh along with martian rifles are probably the best gun in the game submachine guns because they have that crit chance um that crit chance that passive bonus that no other weapons can have um so no other weapon Nestle can have, but no other weapon other than Marksman Rifle have Nestle a passive bonus like that. So you definitely want to be using one of those um, until you know, if the, in, t in case they ever decide to buff or nerf the submachine guns. It's those are definitely the best guns in the game. This was crafted with this one that I got. Nestle, I didn't get Nestle good perks. Um, I plan on working on getting better perks. Um, just because some machine guns in general just are, are pretty good for right now. Um, but I got responsive damage increased by 12.5% when in closer than 10 meters in a target. Pretty good for some machine gun because you do want to be close with. Reloading increased by 12.5% faster. Not too bad, but there's definitely better perks. And then Miraculous, which I'm probably saying wrong, killing a target has a 22.5% chance to instantly refill the magazine, which once again probably one of the better perks for some machine gun, so you can actually keep on it, but there's obviously better perks that you can have on it. With comparing this weapon to nicely another one like the Vector, um, of course with the base weapon, um, they're pretty much the same. Um, the Vector has a little bit less re accuracy, a little bit better reloading speed, a little bit range, and a little bit less stability. But overall, that's nothing that mods can't necessarily fix and perform. Um, on the AUG, the, the crit ch hit chance is 24% versus the submachine gun's 23. Uh, nothing too spectacular there. Um, comparing this with the naval, um, the navy, the navy has a 25% chance to um, crit. Versus a 24, it actually has a pretty good uh, higher accuracy, but of course, what's different with these three weapons is that their uh, magazine size and RPM, if you're not considering DPS, because you can always just craft for better DPS. Um, the naval being the most accurate, the, the highest accuracy out of these weapons, the uh, vector being the lowest, and attack being in the middle, uh, but that's usually because the uh, the naval has a, a faster RPM uh, by 50 compared to the vector and 75 compared to the tactical. Um, so I nestly, once again, you, is looking well, until I can find like a better uh, vector and a better tactical. I nestly will be switching between all the submachine guns because once again, they're the best weapons in the game. With this hitting, shooting from hip fire. Once again, its accuracy is not too bad, um, which is why, I mean, stability is something to go for when, um, when you're going for, uh, you know, something to, uh, to put the mod on your, on your weapon for the, for the submachine gun, but honestly, it's not really necessarily needed, because as you can see from that second burst, that was me controlling the recoil, and, I mean, it's not too, it's not that all the hard to control, so, you know, I mean, because you're going to be close at your targets, you know, maybe um, you probably won't be shooting at a target that this far. If they're that far, it's probably just use marksman rifles. And then when they get close, just necessarily just switch your submachine gun. Um, but when modding this weapon, at least for uh, for submachine guns, I definitely would go for mag, uh, crit damage, crit headshot. Uh, uh, not sorry. Uh, once again, uh, crit magazine size. Um, crit damage and everything like that because you have what is this 24% chance of hitting your mag so you're probably like six or seven of your bullets are going to be crits um, of course you increase that crit, cham uh, crit chance uh, higher so more damage or crits um, you'll be just definitely dishing out a lot of damage very quickly because it's a machine gun and what is passive bonus on top of you know the mod you put on it definitely once again the machine guns are one of the best guns in the game but Outside that, um, that was a tactical AUG A3P. Uh, definitely not a, a, a gun 
Once again, if you have a mod for this or any other submachine guns, definitely, you know, craft a few until you get the right uh, skills, uh, the right talent on it, because it'll definitely be worth it. But outside of that, I do want to thank you for watching, and until the next video, Demonic out.